welcome back to another thrilling episode of Ask Jeff Anything, where I attempt to answer any question sent to me on my blog. Today's question comes from Jason Falter, who has sent us a few questions in the past. Today, Jason writes, as an author, how do you feel about this new ebook craze, yay or nay? Well, Jason, thanks very much for your question. Um, I don't have a whole lot of ebook angst. Um, as an author, I don't care how people acquire and read my books as long as they do indeed acquire and read them. Um, and as a consumer, I can see a lot of uh, potential advantages to ebooks as well as disadvantages. Just like anything else in the world, ebooks are a tasty melange of good and bad. With ebooks, you can carry thousands of titles with you everywhere you go. That's good. But if you drop your ebook reader into a train spotting esque toilet after a night of trying to match Janet Reed and Sean Farrell drink for drink, it may never work again. That's bad. With an ebook reader, you can buy a book anywhere, anytime, in seconds, which means more of my books sold. That's good. But if you buy an ebook, you may not truly own it, and it could be deleted or altered without your permission. That's bad. If you're walking along carrying an ebook and you're attacked by feral Girl Scouts, you can use it as a weapon. That's good. If somebody steals your ebook reader, though, you could potentially lose every book you own. That's bad. Ebook readers can break, lose battery power, or have DRM issues, which can render books you paid for unreadable. That's bad. But if your ebook reader does break down, you can use it to fix a wobbly table. Keep papers from blowing away. Spare roof tile. Pet rock. That's good. Well, Jason, thanks again for your excellent question. I hope that this was entertaining and somewhat informative. Um, until next time, I'm Jeff Summers, and you take the good, you take the bad, take them both, and there you have the facts of life. Bye -bye.